Hello lovelies, in this video the brilliant Mr B is going to be looking at decimal place rounding for your GCSE maths. Now there are lots of examples here, worked through at three different levels. So you can jump in wherever you feel most comfortable and if it's too hard, go back to some easier questions and if it's too easy, challenge yourself a little bit. To go with this, over on my website there are some practice papers and predicted papers for this year's exams. This will help work out whether you can do this skill in an exam situation. the second video on rounding so go back and watch the first video on place value rounding if you haven't already because in this video we're using exactly the same methods so let's recap that method so we're starting off with rounding 94.34 to one decimal place now in our method before we were labeling the place value names so we're labeling units tens might label hundreds with the question on hundreds. Now, because we're labeling two decimal places, that's not gonna be as helpful to us. So what we're gonna do this time instead is we're gonna be labeling the decimal places. So we have our first decimal place, which is the three, and our second decimal place, which is the four. And the second part of our method was that we ruled off after the thing we're rounding to. So we're rounding to one decimal place, we are gonna rule off after our first decimal place. The next part of the method was to keep all of the numbers on the left and to lose all of the numbers on the right. So we're keeping the nine, the four, and the point three. Now, the last thing to do is just double check, are we rounding up or are we rounding down? If the first number you're losing is a five or higher, we need to round up. Now, it's a four, so we are not rounding up. So our answer is 94.3. Let's use the same method on question two. So we're rounding 84.87. So the first thing to do is label place values and since we're in decimal places I'm only going to label the decimal places we have the first decimal place and the second decimal place we're running to one decimal place so I'm ruling off after the first decimal place I'm going to keep the numbers on the left and lose the numbers on the right so we're keeping the eight the four and the point eight we are losing the seven However, the last thing to check is, is the first number we're losing a five or higher, and it is, it's a seven. So we're not gonna write down 84.8, we're gonna write down 84.9. So round that last number up, and there's our answer. Question three, we have 77.27. Again, let's label the place values. We have our first decimal place, and we have our second decimal place. We're rounding to one decimal place, so rule off after the first decimal place. So we're keeping the 77.2, but before I write it down, let's check it rounding up. The first number we're losing is a seven. That is a five or higher, so we are gonna round up. I am not going to write 77.2. I'm gonna write 77.3 for our final answer. Question four is 93.73. So again, label your place values. We have our first and second decimal places. We're rounding to one decimal place, so round off after the one. So we're keeping the 93.7. We are losing the three. Let's just check if we're rounding up or not. The first number we're losing is a three. That is lower than a five, so we are not rounding up. So I'm going to write 93.7 for the final answer. The final easy question is 89.86. Let's label the place values, first and second decimal places. Rule off after the first decimal place. So we are keeping 89.8 and we are losing the six. However, let's just check if we're rounding up. So the first number we're losing is a six, that is greater than a five, so we are going to round up. So our answer is not going to be 
it would be 89.9 for our final answer. Moving on to the medium questions, we now have much longer numbers. Our first number is 29.11625. So let's follow our method. Let's label the place values first. We have our first, second, third, fourth, and fifth decimal places. And this time, we're rounding to two decimal places. So we're going to round off after the second decimal place. So we are keeping the 29.11 and we are losing the 625 down the decimal places. Uh, before I write down 29.11 as the answer, we need to check if we are rounding up. And the first number we are losing will be the 6 and that is five or greater so we are going to round up so the answer is not 29.11 it'd be 29.12 again only the final number will be going up and it'll go up by one digit now let's have a go at question two so we have 0 0.59185 let's label our decimal places so we have our first decimal place second decimal place, third, fourth, and fifth decimal places. This time around to three decimal places, so we're going to rule off after the third decimal place. Keeping the 0 0.591 and losing the 85. But before we write our answer down, check if we're rounding up or not. The first number we're losing is an 8. That means that we are rounding up. So the answer is not 0 0.591. It'll be 592. Now, we've been putting a lot of effort into the working out here. Let's try and uh, reduce the amount of working out we're doing now. So for question three, we're rounding to two decimal places. So I'm just going to draw a line after the first two decimal places. And if I can use the questions as part of working out, then I don't need to repeat myself writing things down over and over again. So we're still keeping what is to the left. We're still losing what is to the right. We're going to check our first number that we're losing to see if we're rounding up. It's a zero, so that is not a five or higher, so we are not rounding up. So the answer is 4.48. Let's try that again with question four. So we're rounding to three decimal places. I'm going to draw a line after the third decimal place, keeping the left, losing the right. The first number we're losing is a nine, so we are going to be rounding up. So the answer will be 0 0.962. Now we can move on to the fifth question. Two decimal places is what we're rounding to. Let's rule off after two decimal places. The first number we're losing is the zero, so we are not rounding up. So the answer will be 0 0.2. 7, 8, and hopefully now we've done working out in detail so you can see exactly what's going on. But now you can see how we can do these questions quickly by writing a little bit less working out. Let's continue to do the faster working out with the hard questions. So the first question we are going to have five decimal places. So the count take the five numbers 0, 8, 7, 0, and 2. And then we'll draw a line after that fifth decimal place. So we're going to keep the numbers to the left, lose the numbers to the right, so we're losing the 9. But before we write down our final answer, we just think to ourselves, the first number I'm losing is a 9, that is a 5 or higher, so we will be rounding up. So we can start off writing out the digits as they are, 26.0870. And when it comes time to write down the final digit of the answer, if you are rounding up, just increase that by one digit. So rather than writing a 2, I'm going to write a three for my final answer. Question two, we're going to six decimal places. So we're going to count out the first six numbers after the decimal place and then rule off after the sixth number. And before I write down the answer, which will be all the digits on the left, we're just going to look at the first digit on the right we're losing, which is a four. That is not a five or higher, so we are not rounding up. The answer is 471.50. Two, nine, three, zero. Question three, we have four decimal places. I'm going to round off 
after the fourth decimal place. Then I'm going to write down the numbers. We have 81.003. And before I write down the final digit, which will be a 9, let's just check if we're rounding up or not. Now it's a 2, so we're not rounding up. So I am going to write down that 9. Now, if you were rounding up and you had a 9, it would have to go up to 10. And that's not going to fit in one space. So if this was going to round up, then we'd say, well, 39 would round up to 40. And then we would have to leave the zero on the end. Because if you notice in each one of these questions, if we're into five decimal places, we have half a decimal place. Six decimal places, we have six numbers after decimal place. So if it's four decimal places, you must have four numbers after decimal place, even if the zeros, even if the final number is a zero, which you normally wouldn't be bothered to write. You have to write down four numbers if it asks for four decimal places. Question four is also four decimal places, so we'll round off after the fourth decimal place. So let's write down a number, 115.012. And then before I write the four, let's just check if we're running up. The first number we're losing is a three, so we are not rounding up. So let's go ahead and write that four down. Then for question five, we're into six decimal places. So let's count out six decimal places. Two, two, six, zero, eight, three. So I'll rule off here. Let's start to write down the numbers on the left. So our answer will be 0 0.22608. And before I write down the last number, let's just check if we're running up or not. The first number on the right of the line that we're losing is 6. That is a 5 or higher, so we're rounding up. So rather than writing a 3, I'm going to round it up by 1 and write a 4. And there's my final answer.